Why, hello every, everyone. Again, this is the inspector with you uh, for another shave. And today we're going to go with the holiday themed soap still because it's between Christmas and New Year's. I hope everyone had a, a wonderful Christmas. Um, we're going with PAA Space Nog. Okay, and this is just a wonderful blend of uh, I smell nutmeg, I smell uh, very Christmassy. Uh, it smells like eggnog with nutmeg in it, basically. Uh, so we're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to go with the uh, PAA Pele Pellegrino brush. Uh, Hendrickson Company Shave Bowl, which is I really love, which is we have our soap in here. I haven't lathered up it yet, as you can see. Uh, I'll do that for you in a second. And for our razor, we're going with the Merker 37C Slant Razor. Okay, with a, a new blade, a new blade in here. And for me... Uh, it just came out a little while ago. It's the PAA Strangelet Blade, Super Stainless, I think it's Super Stainless. So we're going to go with that and give that a run and see how that is. Uh, meanwhile, we'll get some water on the brush and start building our lather here. I really like this. Hendrickson Company bowl because it releases the lather. You got the ridges on the bottom, but uh, it really releases the lather well. Sorry about all the clanking there, but yeah, we'll let a little bit more water. I got about four or five days growth on my face. I guess about four or five days. I don't know exactly, but it's heavy, it's heavy, as you can probably see. A little bit more water. Want to get it well hydrated here. Okay, that should be good. You don't often see me lathering up on the camera, but I figured today I'd do it. It's my best part of the shave right here is putting lather to my face. Good coverage. Nice creamy lather. Okay, we'll heat up the blade and get shaving. And let's see how these strange lip blades go. Very nice so far. Very nice. I don't know uh, how many passes I'll do today, we'll see. And these blades were made specially for Douglas. They're not rebranded in any type. They're made to his specifications. Wow, and it's mowing mowing it down pretty darn well here. So 
So far, a big thumbs up with these blades there, Douglas. Well done. But then again, I expect that from Douglas and Fran. They just, they just don't know how to go halfway with anything, you know? They just don't. If they do it, they do it right, so. All right, we'll do the goatee area here. will surely make Mr. Barnes happy here. George Barnes, that is. This 37C, by the way, is my favorite slant razor. Uh, I've tried a bunch of them, but this is my favorite one. Good first pass. Lather it up for a second. Lather goes on a little bit easier now. Now that there's no big sheet of hair there. blade again and go against the grain Yeah, so I hope everyone had a really good Christmas. I did. By the way, this uh, 37C, I guess you can get it on Amazon for about, oh, I'm guessing in the realm of 40 bucks. Uh, I would recommend it as a
second razor to get once you've gotten your marker 34C or your DE89. Edwin Jagger, by the way, DE89. Okay, I'm happy with that there. We got a little weeper there, no big deal. And this space nog is very good. I, I really enjoy this soap. This is, of course, you can use these soaps any time of the year that you want, but sort of makes it special when you get to holiday time, I guess. Very nice. I'll put some more lather on the goatee area here. And you know what, guys, I, I'm i learning as I go still here. That when I'm doing this area, my chin area, my mustache area, which is my most sensitive area, by the way. I'm learning slowly but surely not to press it too much if you for sort sort of speak, you know. Uh try to get too close. Uh in some cases like now, I won't be going against the grain um, on my mustache area here. I'll just go uh, with the grain and cross the grain. So as to keep irritation at a minimum. And I'll go against the grain in some areas, but I won't, I won't really bear down as hard as I guess is what I'm saying.
because I found that I'm getting the hairs up here. I found that it's just not it's just not worth it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we'll give that a rinse. Yeah, what I'm saying is just it's just not worth the irritation to get the uh, the returns are diminishing. Okay, so and that is that's good. I mean that's that's a DFS damn fine shave right there. So uh, I can go against the grain in my other areas with no problem, but when it gets here. And my goatee area here, it's it's especially sensitive, and so I'm not pushing it, in other words. So we'll go to the towel. If I don't get as close as, you know, I usually do that okay because it really doesn't make that much of a difference and if it does you can shave the next day okay and and so on and so forth so i hope uh some of you will get some value out of that if you could because i speak from experience so uh, but yeah, I mean, it was close enough. Definitely. I mean, I can't argue with that. Can't argue with the results and the strange lip blade, the strange lip blade from PAA, a big thumbs up. And in my 37C, my marker 37C, which is a two piece razor. Okay. So I have one use on this blade so far. And I'm just gonna pat it down gently and put it aside. Ready for next time. And I'm gonna wipe this Wipe this off here. And since I was running it in hot water, I don't have any residue to speak of here, which is great. It's just a little wet and we can just towel that off with no problem. And this goes back in. Doesn't matter which way you go with it and you tighten it down. And there you have it. Marker 37C. Okay, guys, to review what we've done today. Uh, PA Space Nog. Very excellent soap. We'll put that back in our, our place there that we have for it. PAA Pellegrino Brush with the green handle on it. And we have our Hendrickson Company um, bowl, which has the ridges there. And it also has the rounded wall. It has, a, there's ones with straight wall too, but I decided to get the ones with the rounded wall because I think it would suit me better. And it sure has, it's, it's, it's a very, 
It's an excellent bowl. Next to my Captain's Choice bowl, they're my two favorite bowls to be had here. So for the money, you just can't you can't beat it. It's like 35 bucks. Um, durable, won't break. So there you have it. Um, is there anything else? I guess not. Um, hopefully I'll get a, a video and maybe before New Year's, maybe not. I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, how busy I get and, and everything else. But uh, until then, until then, uh, we can't forget the Strange Lip Blade, which is the star of the party. Phoenix Strange Lip Blade was the best. Okay. Uh, so until next time, this has been the inspector signing off saying goodbye and have a good one. Take care guys.